Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to take up special products. And one of the special products is the product of the sum and difference of two terms. Now let us have this expression. The quantity a plus b multiplied by a minus b. If you are going to observe the first terms, they are the same. If you are going to observe the variable on the last term, they're also the same but they have different in sign. One that separates the two terms is plus and the other one is minus. So, to find the product of these two binomials, we have different methods. And one of the methods is the so-called FOIL method. That is, we are going to find the product of their first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. Now, let's give its product. a multiplied by a is equal to a squared. a times negative b, that's negative ab. b times a, that is ab. And then b times negative b is equal to negative b squared. With this, let us simplify. Bring down a squared. And the negative AB plus AB, since they're opposite, that is 0. So we don't need to write 0 anymore. Let's proceed to the last. Bring down negative B squared. So therefore, the result or the product of the quantity A plus B multiplied by A minus B using FOIL method is A squared minus B squared. How many terms is the result? It consists of two terms. Here's another way of finding the product of the sum and difference of two terms. Since they have the same variable for the first term and the same variable also on the last term, so our first step is we square the first term. Our first term is a and when we square it or we multiply it by itself, the result is a squared, which is the result on our first term. Then write minus and then square the last term. Since we have the same letter or variable for the last term, which is b, when we find it square or we multiply it by itself or b times b, that is equivalent to b squared. And that is also the last term of the result. So whether you use the FOIL method or this process, we will arrive on the result which is a squared minus b squared. Let us have another example. Given the quantity 4a plus 2 multiplied by 4a minus 2. So let's use the process a while ago. We square the first term minus we square the last term. And what is the square of 4a? Or 4a times 4a is equivalent to 16a squared minus the square of 2, that is 4. So this is the result of the product of 4a plus 2 and 4a minus 2. Another example. The quantity 8x plus 7y multiplied by 8x minus 7y. Same process. We square the first term minus we square the last term. And the square of 8x or 8x times 8x is equal to 64x squared minus the square of 7y or 7y times 7y is equal to 49y squared. So 64x squared minus 49y squared is our result. Another one, given x squared plus 3y cubed z raised to 4 multiplied by the quantity x squared minus 3y cubed z raised to 4 using the same process, we square the first term minus we square the last term. Now, let us apply the law of exponent for powers. That is, we are going to multiply their exponents. So the square of x squared, that is equivalent to x raised to 4. And here, we square first 3, and that is 9. 
and then we multiply their powers 3 times 2 and 4 times 2. So the result is 9y raised to 6, z raised to 8. That's it. Take note that the product of the sum and difference of two terms is the difference of two squares. What if I have asked you to multiply 97 and 103? To be able to solve this easily and mentally, we can apply the method we had a while ago. We can rewrite 97 as 100 minus 3 and then 103 as 100 plus 3. So we arrive on the product of the sum and difference of two terms. This time, we can now find the square of the first term minus the square of the last term. And what is the square of 100? That is 10,000 minus the square of 3 is 9. And 10,000 minus 9 is equal to 9,991. That's it. Let us solve a certain problem. If the length of a square is represented by 7x plus 3 units and its width is 7x minus 3 units, what is its area? So let us have several steps in finding or solving the problem. The first step is, what is or r given in the problem? So the given r, the length of the rectangle which is 7x plus 3 units, the width of the rectangle which is 7x minus 3 units. Next step is, what is us in the problem? That is the area of the rectangle. Third step, what formula are you going to use? Since we are asked to find its area, so the formula for it is area is equal to length times width, or in symbol, A is equal to LW. Next step is the solution to the problem. Since area is equal to length times width, and the length and width are the quantity 7x plus 3 and the quantity 7x minus 3. Multiplying this using our process a while ago, that is, we are going to square the first term minus the square of the last term. And then therefore, the square of 7x and the square of 3 is 49x squared minus 9. Last step is the answer to the problem. Since we are asked to find the area of the rectangle, so therefore, the area of a rectangle is 49x squared minus 9 square units. Now try to solve the problem here. Multiply by using our method. Number 1, the result is c squared minus 25d squared. Number 2, 9m squared n squared minus 121. Number 3, 0.04x squared minus 64. And the last one is 1 for w raised to 6 minus 81. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video.